So I'm not a mind reader, but I probably know exactly what you're thinking right now. And that is, Sasha, how do I get one of these houses? So first of all, what you do... What's going on, everybody? It's Sasha, your real estate market expert here in Charlotte, North Carolina. Welcome back to the channel. If you haven't already done so, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I cover absolutely everything you need to know about Charlotte and some of its surrounding areas, and I post a new video every single week. So today we're gonna to be talking about foreclosures. The reason being I'm getting a ton of phone calls, text messages asking about foreclosure properties. Um, a lot of people are searching online, they're typing in foreclosures in Charlotte NC, and there's a ton of websites out there that are doing false advertising just to get you to send you their email, their phone number, because they know somebody has interest in buying a home. It's, I hate it, it's disgusting, it's a, it's a you know, like a bait and switch. They tell you they have this, you, you call, and then they try to get you to do something else. I am not with that whatsoever. So I'm having to explain kind of the foreclosure process and the reason why some of these listings are being on this website a bunch of times. So I want to tell you guys a little bit about the foreclosure process, the bidding process. If you've seen that, people go into the courthouse and bidding on properties. And then I also just want to talk about how we do not have almost any foreclosures in all of Mecklenburg County. So the reason being is People don't know this, but there's a ton of options when you have a foreclosure and most people make a really big mistake and they automatically assume, hey, this house is a foreclosure. It's a bank owned property. That must mean it's going to sell for half the value, 40, 30 percent less than it's really worth. And that's not the case. When a seller goes into foreclosure, they have a number of options. They can hire a realtor. They can sell the property. If they don't have enough equity into the property, they can do something what's called a short sale and you're still selling the home. And these are a ton of great options for somebody to take that's in that position because if you sell your home prior to it actually getting foreclosed on, if you do a short sale, it saves you from having to possibly file bankruptcy and seven years of bad credit. And let's be honest, nobody wants to deal with that. Today, I wanna to go over one property in particular. This property popped up on the market in early June. I went to go look at it. Um, I had a client that was potentially interested in it. And um, I keep checking it. I'm waiting to see what it's sold for. And I'm gonna show you guys this exact property. And I'm gonna tell you the process that you have to go through if you want to buy a foreclosure home that's owned by HUD. So HUD stands for Department of Housing and Urban Development. When you buy a home using an FHA loan, that loan is backed by the government. And if you end up getting foreclosed on, that home will be owned by HUD. So today we're going to talk about a property that's about a half mile away from where I currently live. And this home was actually foreclosed upon and HUD owns it. And it, it came onto the market in early June and currently right now it's still under contract and I'm going to tell you guys exactly why. And this house initially was priced amazingly. It was priced at $165 and houses in this neighborhood will range anywhere from $250 up to $330,000. Obviously, there's a bunch of factors that play into that and we are going to go over all those today as well. Here is 7716 Winterset Drive here in Charlotte. Zip code is 28270 and it is located in the Sardis Woods subdivision. This subdivision is great. You're really close to downtown Matthews. There's a bunch of amenities around you and you're also about a 20 to 30 minute drive to uptown Charlotte, obviously depending on traffic. So this is a three bedroom, two full bath home, and it has just under 1,450 square feet, and it was built in 1976. Its initial list price when it was listed on June 4th, 2020 was 165,000. And as you can see, it says bid slash market value. When HUD owns a home, usually what they do is they'll put the property on the market with a realtor, and then you have a certain time frame before they will accept an offer. Usually that time frame could be anywhere from 7 to 14 days. In this instance, it was a 12-day time frame. 
So once it first came on the market, I was excited to see it. I just love real estate. I want to see what's going on and I want to look inside of it. And there were, there was so many cars outside of this house. It was ridiculous. So I waited until day like seven or eight. And then I went to go check it out in peace. And this property was really nice. Obviously, it needed some renovations. Everything was original. It definitely needed a lot of updates to be brought up to the value that these other homes in the neighborhood are selling for. So first of all, to put a bid in on this property, you need to be a HUD selling agent. So myself, I'm a HUD selling agent. So if you wanted to buy one of these properties, you can easily reach out to me and I'd be able to take you through that process. After 12 days, HUD, what they do is they'll accept an offer. Once that offer is accepted, there's what's called a 10 day upset period. This property was listed for 165. Say somebody went in there and offered 170, they accepted that. So you have $170,000 bid. And then what you got to do is you got to bite your fingernails for 10 days and hope nobody else bids against you in the next 10 days. So we're at 170. Someone on the ninth day could bid 172. Then it restarts the 10 day period. Somebody else can bid. Then it restarts the 10 day period. So the problem with these type of homes and these type of bidding circumstances, if you're on a time frame, if your lease is up, if you're moving, you don't want to do multiple moves this could take quite a while. I'm not 100% sure how long it can go up to, but based off this and the 10 day upset period, you can see how long this can go on for. Every couple days, somebody could bid a thousand more, 5,000, 500, whatever the case is, and it can drag out the process. So currently it is August 20th and this house was listed on June 4th. 12 days, June 16th. So from June 16th to currently, people are still actively bidding on this property. So when looking at it for face value, if you can get it for 165, that's an amazing deal. I looked at this property and based off what I was looking at, you can fix this property up to look really nice for anywhere from 30 to 40,000. Obviously, you can go up if you want to have some really nice finishes. This property in particular needed roughly thirty to 40000 to get it to a nice standard. And actually, the house across the street, it's a little bit bigger, 500 square feet bigger than this house. And that house sold within three days, and it's under contract currently for 310000 So you're almost looking at double the value on this property when looking at the 165 price. That's why I keep looking back at this property because I'm so curious what the final sale price of it is going to be. And another thing that's extremely important to mention, and I should have mentioned this in the beginning of the video, if you're an investor and you're watching this, unfortunately, to bid on one of these HUD-owned properties, you have to use it as your primary residence for at least the first two years. So investors are not allowed to bid on these properties. So I'm not a mind reader, but I probably know exactly what you're thinking right now. And that is, Sasha, how do I get one of these houses? So first of all, what you do is you go to HUDHomestore.com, enter your state. I doubt there's going to be a lot. So I just say there's a bunch of other information you can enter. My recommendation is just enter the state, scroll through everything and see if there's something you might like. If there's some houses in North Carolina that you might like or have questions about, call, text, or email me anytime. I'm always available to help you. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and I'm gonna catch you guys on the next video. Take care, bye.